Hello guys, my name is Chase Free, and I'm going to show you guys how to make an EDM intro. This is any genre, electro, pop, um, mainly EDM. Let's get to it. Um, this is my first video. Um, it took me a while to get everything going, um, how to get the mic set up, how to get everything working. I hope everything s sounds good to you guys and you guys hear everything pretty good and hear me clearly and understand me. I'm not that great at explaining things, so try and uh, keep up with me. I'm going to try and be as slow and uh, explain things as good as possible. So first, thing, first things first, um, tempo 128. For EDM, your tempo should always be at 128, 130, sometimes even 126 or 132. Um, everything other than that is something else, trap, dubstep, whatever. I'm going to go with 128, which is the most common. 128 and 130 are the most common. Now when you start an intro, if you don't know time-wise, every eight bars, um, you want a hook to, or something to change in your song. You want to add um, the full kick drum to go in, or little cymbals to go uh, to come in, um, loops to come in, whatever you want. Um, a lot of you people do thirty up to thirty seconds, which is sixteen bars. Um, I'm gonna work with nine with eight bars. Which is this? This I this is my locator. I use this to locate myself. This is so helpful to me. So yeah, I'm gonna start with um, with this. Now the first things first is drums. I'm gonna use um, you could use you could get drums from samples. Um, I'm gonna be from samples. Yeah, any of these work. I have. You should be able to download any samples or from songs. Um, anything where's drums can't see drums maybe i don't have drums here anyway i have some up here any type of drum you like this takes time to choose guys depending on the drum you want that's up to you i'm going to be using a drum from a plugin called kick by nicky romero um i have in mind one that i like already it's the very first one from nick nicky that's not sounding let me go ahead and Oh, that's not what I meant to do. There you go. There's my kick drum coming in. I'm going to bring this down a little bit. Negative six. You never want a red line. Red line is when the, uh, your green bar starts to turn red, obviously, and that's going above zero dp, and you don't want that. Not, not, not when you're making the song. That's a quick little tip for you guys. So yeah, I'm going to fill this in with the piano row because that's what I... I use this is not a sample this is a plug-in it's about 15 20 bucks Nicky Romero's kick all right so there you go it's first things first your kick drum I already like how that sounds I like this kick drum I had already chosen it now you're gonna start having to you're gonna want to start filling it up so now you're gonna go to your samples I have them in this my folder and I'm gonna use a, a, a loops that I already have and I'm gonna choose a loop that I like I really like how this loop sounds alright I like how that sounds alright sweet so yeah I'm already getting the start loops help out a lot if you want to get something quick and start getting your track going and get into it, um, get it, get into it fast. Use loops. I forgot what this one's called. It says M U B two loops. Um, yeah, that's what I'm using right here. Um, so yeah, this is already sounding pretty decent. And I just made this in what five seconds? Not literally. Okay, sweet. I'm not gonna be add. I'm not gonna. I'll tell you guys what to do later. I was gonna do it now, but I'll do it later. What I'm gonna do now is choose other things that I want on on my sound. Um, I definitely want like a little. All this depends on you guys. Whatever you guys want. Um, I'm not sure what you guys want. Depends on what you guys want on your intro. I'm gonna use a little uh, ride. Like how this one sounds. And I'm going to use it on every drum kick. I'll show you guys how to fix all these other stuff later. How to make it better and 
really come through together. Sounds like shit right now, but it'll get, it'll get better. Alright, sweet. Now, um, yeah, that's the intros coming in together. Now, another thing that I'm going to want to add is maybe claps. Uh, I definitely want some claps in it. Um, you really want to get the sound, um, the intro as full as possible if unless you you purposely don't want it to be full I like to make them full it just keeps people dancing and going I'm gonna add a um, I'm gonna add some claps same place like how those three sound I'm gonna put the claps on every other kick so it's gonna be kick and then the second time going in it's gonna be a kick with a clap too fast <laughs> There you go, it's gonna be. Alright. Just gonna bring this all the way through. That's funny. I don't think I put it in right. <laughs> it's a little off. It's a really kick. Oh, it could be way over here. That's where I missed. I was wondering what was going on. So it's already coming along, it's starting to get fuller, it's not as empty, you have a lot of sounds coming in, um, you're always welcome to add more sounds. Um, a tip for you guys is add sounds where there's, um, where, where it's sort of empty to always keep it full. For example, with the claps, what I did right now was um, I put them every other... Um, every other kick but what I also did is it's hitting you see these symbols up here that I, the the loop that I put in it's hitting every time there's a little empty spot like right here there's a noise but it's kind of in it's too it's like a little closed hat I believe and you can't hear it that much which is fine you'll be able to hear it with this with the clap so yeah, I added the claps where I noticed there was some sound missing. Um, I like to do that a lot. If you didn't have these rides up here, um, this would be completely empty in this spot. Without the rides, it would sound like, well, with the kick drum on. And it, it fills it up. I mean, it, com it compare that. It's already getting fuller. I like to I added the rides to make it more aggressive, more intimidating. Um, yeah, I like how this sounds already. Now, this is just a quick. This is strictly just drum stuff um, and little other stuff that I will add. So pretty much for the intro, that's all you have on the intro. Um, that's all you have on the intro. Yeah. Other than the in, well, other stuff you're gonna want to put on there is um, parts of your song. Um, I'm not done, by the way. There's more coming along. Um, it's parts of your song. Um, if there's little plucks, uh, pianos or pads, anything your track has um, from the intro up, you're gonna grab some parts and put them in and throw them in, and that's what's gonna help people. Um, it's, um, if there's a pluck you have in your song, you could throw it in in the intro. Like a little ding 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 or whatever. Um, so people will start knowing how your song is gonna be. Um, that's really helpful to get people to like your song. In the intro, you want to throw parts of your song to help them know like what your song is gonna sound like or like what's coming in your song. Um, you don't want to throw them off all random unless it's just random percussions and noises, and you could throw whatever sounds you want. Alright, so that's sounding pretty good. Now, um, what else? You're going to want to completely duplicate this on because it has to play for a certain amount of time. Yes, in songs, things play for a certain amount of time. It's not whenever you like, unless you, you want to be unique and change it. 
but you do want to keep things timed um what I, the time i'm going by is every eight bars um something's changing or every two sets of eight bars which is almost every 30 seconds something new is coming in to keep the people um liking the song there i call them hooks um uh, so yeah, it gets people like not bored with the song. It doesn't sound repetitive. Something's always coming new or something's always going off, coming off. Um, I'll explain that later on in the process of the video. So, so far, this is all we got. You got your drum, cymbals with uh, loops, claps, and a uh, ride. It's sounding pretty good so far. Now you're going to, um, you're going to start adding... You're gonna want to know what to do here. Um, after this, you're gonna duplicate all this again. Like I said, you're gonna wanna you want to keep the people hooked. So um, every thirty sec every thirty seconds or every eight bars, you want something to change. Here, I'm gonna do after thirty seconds. I'm gonna make something change. This is a little bit of a long intro. You could always do this in half. Um, I can't show you. I was going to point my fingers on there, but it's not like you could see that. So, um, yeah, this is how it's sounding so far. You know what? I'm actually going to make it shorter. I think that, that does sound too long. I think that would sound perfect with just to 30 seconds. Okay, so now that you have that going, now you're going to add hooks or remove hooks. Right now, what I did with the intro, I added everything I wanted on the intro. Now I'm going to remove things and add things and start adding EQ effects and everything to make the song sound better. Um, it sounds good already, but you can make it sound way better. Listen to those claps. They're way too in your face. They're so punchy. The ride cuts off out of nowhere. Like, okay, you can't really tell, but during these parts right here, it's too quiet and it's kind of getting just cut off. You can't tell. I, I'll be, I'm able to tell, but they're getting cut off. The symbols are sounding good. The clap, they're, they're so quick. You don't want that in your mix, um, unless you purposely want to do it on purpose. I don't like that. I think it's too sharp to bang. Bang. It's not like so we're gonna make hooks. I'm gonna take off these symbols or this loop to add that later on in the mix. Um, I might even do that with my claps, add the claps later on in the mix. So, this is how it's gonna start. A little, uh, it's, just, it's simple, but it, it's, it'll be better. This is where you want your plugs going in, or any other sounds you, or any other things you want. You know what? It sounds a little dead to me, so I'm gonna add. I'm gonna put back the claps. Now, coming into making the sound, to making this sound better, EQ is massive in EDM. You should already know this by now. EQ is messing with frequencies. Low ends are more like bassy sounds. High ends are pitchy, high, high frequencies, white noisy kind of sounds. Um, there's a lot of white noise, crisp, high, like they hurt your ear in a way. Low end is more feeling, the way I see it. So now, yeah, we're gonna EQ this. Um, I'm gonna use a trick uh, that I used. I, I kind of found this one by myself, but it's there for a reason, and it, it's actually there for this. It's a little trick that I use um, to start off. Um, I EQ my things a lot different now, but it's awesome to use. You, you, it's perfect. 
go into your audio effects in um, Ableton and under EQ8 go into drums and there's one called symbol uh, second or first you, you there you have two options I'm gonna use the first one check the yeah I'm gonna use the first one and I'm gonna add that EQ um, so I'm taking off the low end that I don't need and I actually want to make that a little bit more um, what did I just do gonna take off more you can even like you can't even hear any of this why do you need that I'm gonna take off up to there I'll keep a little bit more I don't think it's necessary this might be a little too high I don't like it um, when you're messing with your frequencies um, your gain how high you're boosting up uh, high frequencies or low I don't like to go above five that's the most I would ever go if not you're already you're, I feel like you're destroying the sound you could get away with six or seven if you're more like experienced um, but I think after that you're already you're, you're just messing with the sound too much and you're mushing it too much I'm gonna bring this to 350 to bring the height the sounds a little bit more crispier I'm not sure if you could if you could hear the difference how, how it sounds right now to when it sounds when you turn it on I'm gonna use that how it is right now I think that sounds perfect that's a quick little tip for you guys um, and I'm gonna lower the volume too I'm gonna put it at negative four I don't want them going too high Now the next thing would be the what are these the rides. For the ride, it's ending too fast. It's getting too it's getting cut off too much. So I'm gonna add a little bit of reverb to extend it, add a tell to it. For the reverb, I'm gonna leave the light, I'm gonna take all these off. Um, I'm not gonna explain too much on how to, what to do here. Um, it would have to be in another video. It's just things to help you to know what kind of things to use. Reverb, um, decay time, I'm gonna make that 1.50 and it's gonna add a tell to it so now it'll be longer. Can you hear the reverb sound on it? And now with the reverb on, there you go, maybe bring it down a little bit. Yeah, there you go. That sounds better. I'm not gonna use the chorus now. What else? EQ. We need an EQ. Um, where's my EQ? We're gonna use the. There's actually one called. Not snare. Where is it? Hat. Maybe we could get away with using a hat EQ. Let's see how it works. Yeah. Hat sounds good. I'm gonna add this, uh, yeah, before the reverb. The reverb is an effect. Um, this is changing the sound, and this is you want the reverb to be after, to uh, so the EQ could be also getting reverb. Does that make sense? Again, this is a little too high for me. I'm gonna go to two ten. Listen to the EQ. How the EQ changes the sound. a little bit of more if you have really good monitors or headphones on you should be able to hear this so now listen to how dry and how empty this sounded the, the just the right alone this isn't even the whole mix it sounded really dry and alone now with the EQ and reverb it's already fuller and it's getting the track going more um, let's get those together and I want this to be a little bit lower also clap next clap reverb on the clap also add some reverb on the clap it ends too much nope I didn't add it on the clap reverb on the clap Oh, I kind of messed up there. I added reverb somewhere I wasn't supposed to. 
reverb on the clap. I'm going to take this off because I want it to reverb the high cuts, the high frequencies. Um, so I'm messing with some reverb now. I want to get rid of that. I don't want to get rid of the clap too much, so I'm going to take the dry wet off a little bit. I'm going to maybe put it up um, closer to 40. There you go. You could hear the difference now. You still have the clap sound, but you have that reverb coming in. Gonna make this uh, there you go, like how that's sounding already. It's gonna bring this down again, volume down. reverb on the ride there. And now I'm going to reverb, I'm going to EQ the clap. I'm going to use a plugin for this. This is the one I actually usually use to EQ my stuff. Um, take off some of the low ends that you can hear. A little hint or a tip for EQing cymbals and a uh, few uh, essentials like this is um, listen to the sound, solo it. R and start rolling off some of the low end till you start noticing a difference in the sound. So I hear a difference around here, and then, and then right where you start hearing a difference in the sound, start bring it back a little bit. You don't want to take off too much of the low end. There is some stuff in there you want to use. I'm gonna take off some of the high, boost some of the high frequencies, and the clap. When I bring this all the way up, it's because I'm I'm listening. I'm trying to get a certain frequency, which is like the main kind of sound of the clap. Like the, yeah, it's kind of hard to explain this right now. Um, so yeah, I'm just listening to the main sound, um, or like the certain frequency that I want, and I'm boosting that frequency up, and then I'm making it wider to boost up a little bit of the ones around it. So now my clap sounds a little bit better. See how it sounded before and after. So now there's my intro coming along. And it's already sounding a lot better than it did with what we started with. Drums are a little bit too high. Um, let me bring them down. messing with the volume right now trying to get things sound a little better okay now intro I like in the beginning of the very beginning of the song I like to add like an impact or a certain sounds rides crashes to just let the person know the song started um, I'm going to add a one that I remember called it's an impact or it's This one just to let people know my song started. I'm gonna take bring it down a lot. I don't want it to be too loud. Just a little background noise. Fill, I'm again I'm filling up the song just to start getting it uh to sound fuller, not as empty. I'm getting stuff going right here.
again, EQ, EQ everything. Plugins, I'm gonna use this EQ. Um, you wanna be careful when you're queuing low ends cause here there's a boom sound. Um, you could hear it when I take it off too much. There's a little boom. You can, you can tell when it's off. You can't hear it there. And you can hear it there. I don't want to take that off. I like how that sounds. Keep it right around there. Take off some of the... Sounds a little too white and noisy. When I leave this completely on and I'm letting really high frequencies over 20k you could hear a little you hear white noise I'm not sure if you could tell um, and when I take them off I could tell I could hear the difference I'm not sure if you could hear it um, at least the sounds kind of like a little flanger I'm gonna take some of those off boost some of the now again I'm gonna go make this thin and listen to the frequencies that I or the sound that I want to bring up which is that it's right about there I'm gonna boost that so now my sound sound my sound is sounding a bit a little bit clearer and um, listen to how it sounded before and now um, sudden move sudden here sudden sounds are it's sudden you should I could you should be able to tell um, it makes a big difference um, a lot of people don't think it's necessary to EQ um, all these kind of stuff because I don't know why but it's very important you can tell the difference like everything's starting to sound clear and way better sorry getting everything going right there sweet now we're going to add another audio and I'm gonna make a little transition here um, to the roll I'm gonna add another let's see if I have a little I'm gonna make this quick a little sweep up I think I heard this one before and I thought it was cool and before I'm going down also everyone should like these I think bring it down a lot don't want it going on too much just a sudden and just filling up some noise, white noise, getting it out there. See, I'm gonna EQ this again. EQ's the magic, my friends. Again, I'm doing this really quick. I just kind of want to get. I'm not going over these that much. It's mainly the intros. So it's already sounding pretty decent intro. Sweet. Sounding pretty good already. Now, um. What else was I gonna do? I was about to do something and I forgot. I forgot what I was doing. Ooh. Huh. Forgot. Well, so yeah, this is basics on how to get an intro going and how to get it sounding f better. Um, reverb, EQ, 
um, you want to compress stuff a little bit I'll get over I'll go over that um, on another videos this is just a quick video to get things going it's already sounding pretty good I don't know what the heck I did there and then these are gonna come in okay another thing we're gonna EQ the kick a little bit not too much um, When you, EQ, when you EQ things, you really want to EQ them listening to everything, uh, the whole mix together. Um, right now, I've been doing it um, solo. You don't really want to do that because you'll listen to something and you'll like how it sounds. But then when you put it in the mix all together, it doesn't sound the same. It's just to show you guys the way things are, like, the how EQ you could hear. Uh, I'm just trying to show you how you could, like, uh, I don't know how to explain it. So you could hear how I'm changing things a little bit. Boosting the low ends of the kick to make it sound heavier a little bit more, Com coming, in, coming through a little bit heavier and cleaner. And take off some of the end, some of the. That sounds pretty decent to go to go with right now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna mess it up a bit. Okay, so that's sounding a little bit better um, all together. I think I could bring this up a little bit more. Okay, now let's see what else we're gonna do here. Um, this is yeah, this is pretty much how to get an intro going for the intro of a track, EDM track, and uh, make it sound good. EQ things, reverb things. Um, detail every sound you throw in there to make it sound clear and better by EQing, reverbing, filling up those spaces um, when there is spaces to get filled. Now you want to make this better by adding parts of your song, little plucks, um, parts of vocals, glitches, a lot of stuff you could add on top of this. For example, um, let's add a quick, um, let me show you guys the Example of how to do something here. I'm gonna add a. Let's see every offbeat, which is every time the kick isn't going off. I don't think I put it in right. Not at all. I put every kick. Nope, not at all. Let's get it way smaller. Where's my kick at? I want it between the kick. So, I want this to be, I think it goes there. Yes. Ah, got a little confused here. The way I wanted things to go off. So it's like, there you go. One offbeat, that's every time the, okay, sweet. I'm gonna show you an example of like adding parts of the song with like a little bass real quick. A little, yeah, a little bass. Um, I'm gonna lower the volume a little bit. Oh, I don't even have a media on. Okay, silent. Let's add a sound real quick. A little bass. I'm not gonna take my time to choose this. It's just to show you guys an example. This was strictly just drum in the beat, how to get things going a little bit. Um, 
what else you could do um what else can you do you can always bring the frequencies i mean the yeah you could filter the drums a little bit um so the kick isn't completely in and then once the eight bars finish or your 30 seconds um they kick in and really come out um i'll go ahead and show you how to do that i'm going to use an auto filter that's in ableton throw off some of the low bass and the kick in the beginning right there and of course we want it all the way in once it comes once that so the, the stuff I'm doing right now they're kind they're the hooks I'm talking about you want things to be changing you don't want things to sound so rep repetitive and like oh nothing's changing nothing's been added nothing's coming in or out so all I did right here is um, added a part of for example, something you had in your song, plugs. This is just an offbeat bass, and um, so yeah, my start st starts off. It's pretty simple, just this. Maybe you could have a plug on top of this. Whatever the <laughs> I can't think of anything. Things coming up. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this part of the video. Um, I hope you guys understood me. I'm Trace Ferry. Um, this is a quick video on how to make an intro, um, how, how to EQ things real quick, um, removing low ends, uh, reverbing stuff, um, to getting that sound, to getting that intro sound a lot better. Um, now, a lot of you don't mess with all that stuff. I know this in your videos and in your music. Um, without, if you don't use any of that stuff, listen to how it sounds. I mean, if I didn't have, oh, that's annoying. If I didn't have um, any of these reverbs or ha um, EQ edit edits, it would make my mix not sound that clear. Everything's a little smashing together. Um, frequencies are bouncing off each other um, you it's very sudden you can't tell but there's a difference look how how it's sounding it sounds a little different it doesn't sound like professional and then when you master this um, it sounds even better to the sound over here oh yeah it sounds it sounds a lot better when with all the all the stuff on I can tell you should be able to tell if you have monitors um, there's sudden changes and little stuff that really make your track sound better um, when you send your tracks to demos uh, to record labels when you send your demos to record labels they look for these stuff they want to see how you're EQing things they want to see if you uh, making your sounds your song sounds clear look at the difference you can hear the crisp and the uh, everything sound better over here everything's sounding clear and I did this fast I didn't even take my time on it it's just to show you guys an idea of what to do you want to go in and change everything be more detailed and take your time on it Listen to how the how these, these sound without the EQ. It doesn't jump out. Big difference. Um, a quick, uh, another quick tip that you can do to make your sounds come out a little bit more is um, controlling where the sound is, um, left or right speaker. Um, for example, the ride. I could bring that over to the right speaker by making this, what is this called, the panning, I'm going to maybe do a 25 to the right, just 20, add 25 to the right, 
so I hear it more on this side and then I'm gonna do negative 25 on the clap to hear the claps better on the left side now when you play the mix together it sounds better you hear the ride clearer than the clap when they're when they're playing on top of each other you could um when you're listening to it on headphones on a stadium on an event you could hear both of them a bit clearer instead of them hitting at the same time bouncing off each other i could hear them both really clear um that might be a little too much you could always do like 15 um we hear negative 15. And these are, um, when you start listening to songs from now on, listen to how they move things to the sides. Um, I didn't know this starting off. I didn't know you could even do that. Um, it makes a big difference. Um, it's just with little stuff, like little essentials. Like here in the um, hi-hats, if I chose this, just this is a loop, but if I just chose this sample, and then this little sample down here, these were two different samples, I would put one on the left and one on the right. Maybe not, um, these are a little bit too different. One's too low compared to the other one. But yeah, it's just an example of what to do. Um, so yeah, this is a quick little intro on a song. You could add more white noise, um, different type of, it's just, you know, came in more I could bring this down a little bit I'm gonna make my videos long I don't care I need to can't explain everything too well um, let's see what other sounds we got here to that uh. That sounds cool. <laughs> All right, um, what else can you add? You could always add the little bongos they add, or what are they called? I don't know what they're called. Um, I don't know what they're called. Mm. Toms. Those are used with toms. Um, for those of you that don't know, when you hear a drum and you hear like a dum dum boom. Boom. You can use a kick, a uh, certain type of kicks. I like to use toms. I think toms sound the best with that. I'm going to go into my samples and get a tom out just to show you guys real quick. Um, this one sounds pretty good. And now I just got to figure out how I'm going to uh, put that. I don't really know. That's not really how it goes. It's just an example. Oh, that second one was it. Sweet. So it goes about here. Ah. Sweet. Sounds pretty cool. So yeah, you could add these also. Um, they sound great on intros they're all they're used a lot but yeah they sound really great listen to it i don't even have it on i was getting excited over here sounds like these came in too fast there you go it should be every other You 
just gotta be creative with your intro, adding a bunch of other stuff. Um, again, EQ. To make it sound better, you don't want it um, crashing too much with... There's some low, low frequencies on this um, tom that you don't want that are interfering with the drums. So again, I'm just going to shave those off a little bit and add, bring some of the noise up to make it sound a little better. Um, let's see, audio effects. I'm going to get the... I'll use my plugin. I think that's better for me right now. I don't want to remove too much of the low end on, the, on my tom. tell what I'm doing here. You go. So it's coming off, it's coming out a little bit more, sounding a little bit clearer. Um, so now let's check that out, how it sounds all together. Just gotta get, gotta get creative with it. Now, what else can you do? Other stuff you could do now is little details that help the song out. When you're gonna change something, you could take off the kick. Um, you could take off this sandwich right here. You could um, add a little snare, uh, little stuff that help um, fill the whole thing up um, to not make it sound as empty. So for example, right here, when it's about to change, I could take off um, the last two kicks. There you go, and it already changed. It already made it sound better. I'll take off the last two kicks at the end down here too. You could add two claps back here. I'm staying within the now when you master it it sounds even better that the mastering is I'm gonna master this real quick with a quick thing that they have here to show you guys how even better it sounds this is why mastering is awesome at the end of a song your song sounds really good you master it boom it sounds fucking better um, I'm gonna compress it with a multi-band compressor I think it's in here Maybe generic compressor. I thought it was a multi. That's not what I was looking for. I was looking for limiter. What is this? How can I do this? Um, hmm. What was I looking for? Here you go. Multi band dynamic multi compressor. This is a little like like if you were mastering your track, but just quick. Um, <laughs> instead of cheat. Limiter, I'm gonna add a limiter, upper ceilings. Oh, I hate that sound like this. That sounds a lot better with this on. Um, this is just a quick master. I'm just getting um, things off of this to, ma to master it real quick. Um, Okay, I'll just leave it like that, it's cool. I'm just trying to show you, like, when you master a track, it sounds a lot better. This is how it's sounding right now. 
listen to that white noise in the background when you master a track it really helps it this is a quick ass master you don't want to master with this um everything sounds better together louder it's everything's at the same um there's not that many peaks anymore listen to how everything's brought up when you're when these songs are going on there's um for, for example this um These sounds, there's there's little like sounds in the back. The little like, that sound could be a little bit lower um, than the hi hats. So you bring them up and you kind of start eating them out, or you cut the heights. Um, that's what you do in mastering in a way, and uh, to make everything sound a lot together, you could hear the difference with just this compression. Like this is compressing. makes the track bam everything comes in a lot better this is awesome right here listen to how it sounds over here you lose a little bit of the low, low ends but we can fix that anyways yeah that's just a that's just a quick example to show you like when you start mastering stuff your songs your songs start sounding better so always master your songs at the end start learning how to master um, your songs when they're complete. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Um, that's just how to make a quick intro, how to make it sound better, um, little tricks and things to do to make everything sound clear. And uh, like, subscribe, and share. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching.